All right, we are live. This is crazy. So I'm we're gonna wait in the background, putting together a ringless voicemail to go out through the loan officer CRM. And I thought you'd like to see behind the scenes of some of the stuff that I do with AI while I'm building campaigns. So we are using 11 labs. So 11 labs.io, this is a this is a tool that's built by OpenAI. So the same company that built ChatGPT built 11 labs and you go to 11labs.com and then under voices, you upload a bunch of audio of your voice and it can be pulled from podcasts that you've done or you can just record your voice. And the way I've done this two or three times through the system and the last one that I did, I was overly emphatic with my voice like to the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows as far as tone i made sure that i had a really nice microphone while doing it and uploaded my voice into the system it takes about two or three days and then you are able to run your own voice through 11 labs so what i'm doing right now is i've gone into speech and i'm creating this speech and then under settings here, I've got my voice inside the system. So I've already been mapped out, but look, you can, there's all kinds of different voices that you can choose from and you just choose them and they give you a sample of it. Like, let's listen to George. The less effort, the faster and more powerful you will be. Now let's listen to Harry. Friends show their love in times of trouble, not in happiness. That sounded a bit pushed. I don't know what the right uh, one is for that. Let's listen to Rachel. Change in all things is sweet. And so these are all the different AI voices that you can choose from, or you can add your own voice to the system. Now there's settings here and the stability of the voice, it's either more variable or more stable. And when you go more variable, it increases the range of tonality of your voice. So the higher the highs and the lower the lows. So it can make you sound like if you put it all the way down at the bottom, you sound kind of like a chipmunk, right? Um, so you're kind of looking for that video, the middle, but more stable. On the other hand, if you go over to the other side, it makes it more monotone and computer like. So if you put it all the way to the right, you sound like a robot. So you're trying to find the middle between the chipmunk and the robot to make it sound like you, your tonality. Some people speak quick, some people don't, and you're trying to match it. And you only have to do this once. I found that my voice hits right at the 50% mark, kind of gets me spot on because I tend to talk a little bit quick and to have it slowed down just a little bit is nice. Then clarity and similarity enhancement this is really where the AI goes to work, matching your voice over basically like the artificial intelligence overlay that goes on your voice, right? So I've got this as high so that we can match it um, as much to my voice. I don't want it to sound like an AI avatar. I want it to sound like my voice. Now what we've done is we've taken our text. So this text is going to be the ringless voicemail that we're going to be sending out on a brand new webinar training that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be dropping this ringless voicemail only to the people that have opted in and given consent in order for us to send these types of messages to them. So here is the script. Now I'm going to click on generate down at the bottom. It's gone and used some of my quota credits uh, for the month. Now, uh, there is a free trial. This is Chris Johnston's AI assistant calling. The reason for my call today is to let you know that Carl White and Chris are hosting a live online training showing you how to double your mortgage pipeline using artificial intelligence. The training includes all the tools you need and shows you how they have used AI to automate the most profitable activities in the mortgage business. I will send you an email this afternoon around 2 p.m. with your invitation. I hope you are having an amazing day. So that last sentence was a little bit off, but the rest of it was amazing. Um, so I'm going to change this and I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. So let's see what that sounds like at the end. Sorry, we got to listen to this one more time. 
So again, you hit generate, takes a couple of seconds. Like, isn't that magical that AI This is can Chris do that? Johnston's AI assistant calling. The reason for my call today is to let you know that Carl White and Chris are hosting a live online training showing you how to double your mortgage pipeline using artificial intelligence. The training includes all the tools you need and shows you how they have used AI to automate the most profitable activities in the mortgage business. I will send you an email this afternoon around 2 p.m. with your invitation. Thanks and have a great day. Awesome, right on, bang on. That's good enough to send out. So now what I do is I head on down to this bottom right-hand corner and I'm gonna click download. So I've now downloaded this file as an MP3 and then I'm gonna give the AI feedback that that is one that I liked. And then also you can click this little button down here and you can share this. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to post this inside the Facebook group. Can I post on this? Yeah. All right. So here we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to the loan officer CRM. So we're just going to load this in. Oh, hey, that's really big <laughs> when you uh, when you minimize it down. But we're going to hop into our CRM here, head into our account, and I'm gonna show you from scratch how to set up a campaign to send this out. So now, we're inside the Loan Officer CRM, powered by artificial intelligence, and I'm gonna click up in the top right-hand corner and I'm gonna create a brand new workflow. So not one of the recipes that we have, but I'm gonna start from scratch. So I've created a new workflow, started from scratch. I'm in automations on the left-hand side. So automations, workflows, new workflow. So we're gonna name this workflow, voicemail drop. Now, add new trigger. So I'm going to do a um, call status because what's going to happen is our concierge agents are going to be running this campaign. So uh, one of the 10 concierge agents that we have here at Connection Incorporated, they're going to get on the phone with a call script and they're going to run through the power dialer. Now, what we're going to say is if the concierge calls and the person does not pick up the phone, this ringless voicemail is then going to be inserted into their inbox. Now, what's actually going to happen is they're going to get a phone call and it's going to go to voicemail. The concierge agent is going to hang up. They are not going to leave a voicemail. That person's phone is then going to ring again. Okay. But it's like a half ring where it's like, it looks like a call tried to come through and then the voicemail is left. That's technically called what we call the double tap. So oftentimes people will get a call and they will ignore it. But when they see that somebody has called twice and then left a message, they're going to go listen to the message or they will immediately call the phone number back. What does that do? Puts them right on the phone with the concierge agent and then the concierge agent can in this particular funnel then register them for the webinar, whatever the next step is for you it would be qualifying that person as a referral or qualifying that person as a mortgage applicant, right? So we want to set a call status and then we're gonna add a filter of the call status to be either if it's busy, canceled, no answer or voicemail. If the call is completed, the ringless voicemail will not be sent because if they mark the call as completed or the software automatically detects whether or not the call actually goes through, we're good to go. So we have our call trigger. So anybody that is tagged to go into this particular campaign is then going to get dropped in after uh, the sequence. Now we're going to add here a ringless voicemail. So we're gonna put a wait step in here and we're going to a time based delay of two minutes. And we're going to pull an advanced window here and we're going to shut this off for Saturdays and Sundays. We don't want messages going out uh, between uh, Saturday and Sunday. So only Monday through Friday, only if it's between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So we're going to save this action and then we are going to drop a voicemail. So 
we've got our ringless voicemail. We're going to click on upload file. We have our 11 labs voice from our downloads. We're going to click open, double check it. This is Chris Johnston's AI assistant calling. The reason for my call today is to let you know that Carl White and Chris are hosting a live online. Perfect. Just the way we want it. We're going to save our action down here in the bottom right hand corner. We are going to go from draft to publish up in the top right hand corner, and then we are going to save. Now we have a workflow based on a power dialer going out to a list. If they do not pick up the phone on the power dialer, it's then going to wait two minutes and send our AI generated ringless voicemail to their voicemail box in order to get them to open the email that we're going to be sending uh, at 2 p.m. that day and then to actually call back. And then again, if you're wondering how to send the email, so we would then add a little timer in here, right? So we're going to put another wait action in here. Now we have a, a separate campaign that's going to put them into the power dialer. It's going to send this email, but if you wanted to send the email from here, so we're going to wait. And then in this advanced window, we're going to set this rather than a window at an exact time. And this is going to resume at 2 p.m. And we're not going to wait because it's set for a timer. So now this wait timer goes at 2 p.m. And then we're just going to post an email in here, send an email. And then we would go to our document where we have our email template. And we're going to put in uh, the from name, from email, subject line, the template of the actual body of the email itself. There we go. And then we save that action. And again, up into the top right hand corner, click save and your workflow is ready to go. So that is exactly how to use 11 labs to clone your voice, put a script in, which was written by ChatGPT, export it and turn it into a ringless voicemail inside the loan officer CRM. If you are watching the recording of this and you're like, that is the coolest thing I have ever seen, plus the conversational AI assistant, plus the fact that you get 14 pre-done campaigns that are the actual mortgage marketing animals campaigns loaded inside the CRM, you can go check it out at loanofficercrm.ai. That's loanofficercrm.ai. There's currently a waiting list to get in because we want everybody that joins to be able to get the onboarding experience that they need to actually be successful with the system. But the fastest way to get access is to sign up on the waiting list so that when you get the email that the cart is open, you can actually get in and experience that phenomenal onboarding experience that we have waiting for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.